Hello, today you will hear a story about a man's revenge. Jason Brown was my father. This man was strict and stern. He had a very successful career in banking. Thanks to my father, trust in the bank was at its best. He was always able to extricate himself from any crisis situations and provide a reliable line of credit for clients. On the one hand, it was good that I had such an influential and rich father, but he was strict and harsh in all respects, including in raising his son. I didn't have the usual joys as a child. My father was always busy, and my mother, Catherine, passed away early. Therefore, only my father took care of me. From childhood, my father set certain tasks for me in my studies. Instead of playing with peers in the yard, I studied bank statements and delved into the numbers. My father paid for my education, and immediately put all my knowledge into practice. Although my childhood was not cheerful and carefree, but already in my youth I became a good specialist in the banking sector and worked in my father's bank. And then the moment came when my father died, I began to manage the bank myself. My father taught me everything necessary to successfully continue his work. I was 39 years old when Jessica came to work with us. She was barely 20 years old. She was a pretty girl with golden curls and brown eyes. I still remember when she came to the office for an interview. She was in a snow white blouse, holding a light green folder with documents in her hands. Hello. I'm Jessica, the secretary said to come to your office. Frightened said the girl, entering my office. Yes, Jessica, come on. Have a seat. I answered. Here, I prepared a resume and other documents, experience, of course, I have little experience, but I was the best in my course. You can view. I see, Jessica, I see, you studied well. I take it this is not your first interview? Yes. Not the first, but I understand that with my little experience it's hard to get a job. But I'm ready to start from the bottom, if you trust me. Yes, Jessica, I see, but I want you right away. Working here requires a high degree of responsibility. Only those people who want to work work for me. But I like your zeal, if I hire you, you won't let me down? Sir, I'm ready to convince you of this as soon as possible, if you give me the opportunity. Okay, I need to see how you will cope, and then we'll see. Start with the assistant clerk, and then we'll see. You are on probation. Sir, you won't regret it. With admiration answered Jessica. I hope, Jessica, everything is in your hands, don't let me down. I like this girl right away. Unlike most of my colleagues, I try to consider the potential among the younger generation. After all, such people could bring much more value than employees with more experience. And I decided to give Jessica a chance. Jessica worked for me for a couple of months, and I called her into my office. William, did you call me? Jessica asked me anxiously. Yes, Jessica, come in, sit down. Am I doing something wrong, am I in trouble? No, Jessica, I'm looking at your work. You helped to conclude chic loan contracts, I like everything. I wanted to thank you and offer you a full-time job. What do you think? William, that's great to hear. I'll be happy to keep working. That is great. Jessica learned quickly and could easily talk to any client. This girl grew up in the provinces, but this did not stop her from working with serious clients. I was glad I gave her a chance and she didn't let me down. One evening I was getting into my car and getting ready to drive home, when suddenly I saw Jessica, who was hurrying out of the office. Jessica, it's late, your working day was supposed to end an hour ago. Yes, William, I was late a little, I wanted to finish the work on the deals, so that tomorrow I could work on new projects. This is commendable, but I noticed that you are in a hurry somewhere. Yes, I wanted to catch my bus, but I already see that I was late. Jessica answered frustrated, looking at her watch with a graceful white strap. Don't worry, do you want me to give you a ride? William, I would be grateful to you, but I don't want to impose myself. What are you talking about? Get in, I'll take you. Where do you need? Thanks a lot. 
I live at 44 Baker Street. Is it near the footbridge? Yes, that's right. And so we drove up to her house. It was a three-story house at the end of the street. Do you live here? I asked. Yes, William, or rather I rent an apartment in this house. Not the most convenient location, but I'm not complaining. Jessica answered. I understand you, I see a stop far from you, if you want, can I pick you up in the morning for work? This is a generous offer, but I'm terribly embarrassed to ask you about it. Don't worry, I ride every day near this route, so it's not difficult for me. Then I just have to treat you to coffee. With a smile said, Jessica. Well, you don't need anything. Do not refuse me, William, so that I do not feel even more embarrassed. Since you insist, I will not refuse. We drank coffee and had a pleasant conversation. Jessica was bright and very open in communication. In the following time, I drove her to work, and, if possible, took her home. William, I'm sorry, can I come to you? Once knocked on my door Jessica. Yes, Jessica, what happened? Nothing happened, I just wanted to invite you to dinner. Jessica, of course, I am very pleased, but if it's because I'm letting you down, then it's not necessary. You don't owe me anything. William, and again you are trying to refuse me. It's just a non-committal dinner. I would be grateful if you would keep me company. Well, okay, then I accept your offer. Great, tomorrow at eight in the evening will suit you. Unless, of course, you have plans for this day off. There are no plans, I will gladly accept your offer. That is great. Jessica replied with a playful smile. I was a little excited by this offer. My personal life didn't work out. All my time I mainly devoted to my work. And I haven't had a girlfriend for a very long time, and Jessica was much younger than me. I was tormented by doubts whether all this is correct. But still I decided to go to her for dinner, taking a bottle of red wine and a bouquet of soft pink roses. William, thank you. They are flawless. Come on, please. Said Jessica, taking a bouquet of roses. Jessica was in a beautiful black dress that followed all the curves of her stunning body, revealing her wonderful feminine shoulders. Jessica, you look simply irresistible. I said with admiration. Thank you William, I'm very pleased. Coquettishly responded Jessica. I sat down at a small table on which there was a white tablecloth and cutlery for two was already arranged. A candle burned quietly in the middle of the table, creating a cozy romantic atmosphere. Jessica came in soon after, carrying a tray of steamed roasts. I opened a bottle of wine and started pouring it into the glass while Jessica served the fragrant roasts on the plates. Help yourself, William, I hope I will not disappoint you with my culinary skills. Jessica, this is insanely delicious. I haven't been so spoiled by home cooking in a long time. William, I'm sorry, but I will immediately ask you a not modest question. Why is such a prominent man? Like you still without a second half? Yes, somehow it didn't work out, I devote a lot of time to work, and not every girl wants to live with my schedule like that. I am not very popular with girls, and I am no longer young. What nonsense. Personally, I would never look at my peers. These arrogant guys with porridge in their heads do not make any impression on me. I think that you, William, are a real dream for any girl. Your experience fascinates me. With a man like you, you can live your whole life without any regrets. Jessica, this is unexpected and quite nice. But you sure don't mind our age difference. Not at all, I have always liked older men who know exactly what they want from life and can succeed. You're just making me blush, Jessica. I am extremely pleased. It's my pleasure that you agreed to brighten up my lonely evening. We talked for a long time with Jessica, and at the end of the evening we had intimacy. This fabulous night remained in my memory for the rest of my life. Jessica was divine in bed. Our romance continued and a year later we were already married. Colleagues looked at our relationship with some bewilderment. But I didn't care much, I was extremely happy with Jessica. And now 12 years have passed in marriage with Jessica. 
During this time, she has already become my right hand and has achieved incredible heights in her career thanks to my support. But lately Jessica has changed, she has become a powerful woman. This was no longer the naive girl who charmed me with her smile and naivety. We began to spend less and less time alone, especially after Carl got a job with us. Honey, listen, I have a promising employee in mind. His name is Carl. He is now 25 years old, but he will be a real find for us. It has great potential. Jessica, are you sure about this? I asked in disbelief as I looked through this guy's file. Certainly. You, too, once gave me a chance, and I did not let you down. He, too, can pleasantly surprise you. I do not even know. He doesn't have a very high score in learning. From all the information, I can see that this is not a very reliable guy. Honey, I beg you, trust me. Okay, if that's what you're asking, then we'll take it. How do you even know him? And this is the stepson of my friend, Sophia. Somehow we got into a conversation with him when I was visiting her. The guy has to get the job done. Well, then I trust you with this choice, let him try, we'll see. And then Carl appeared in our office. A green boy who, with all his appearance, tried to please everyone and everyone. But I saw something not good in him. He obviously wasn't as charming as he tried to look. I saw this guy straight through and I didn't like him at all. Somehow, by chance, I overheard the girls from the credit department talking. They did not notice that. The door to my office was ajar, and they discussed their gossip without too much modesty. Maria, have you seen this new Carl? Yes, Jennifer, the guy is obviously not easy to work here. It's all Jessica, brought a young lover right under her husband's nose. Settled in, bitch. It's true. But to be honest, I feel sorry for William, he promoted her up the career ladder and gave her everything, and she is still that bitch. Well, I don't know what to feel sorry for him, he chose such a bitch for himself. And it is better for us not to get into these family battles of theirs. And then someone else finds out, it will only get worse for us. These words made me very angry. I did not break into the girls and make scandals because of their gossip. I decided to talk to Jessica. Honey, I don't like Carl at all. And I want to ask you directly. Is there anything between you and Carl? I asked anxiously. Honey, why are you so wound up? Have you heard enough gossip at work? Believe me, I also talked a lot about you behind my back. But it didn't bother you before. Jessica replied indignantly. I did not hear the answer. Is there anything between you and Carl? William, of course not. Are you crazy? Why do I need this boy? I just love you and I don't understand why I deserve such suspicions. Okay, darling, something I really broke up. Don't take all these rumors in your head. Nothing can destroy our relationship with you. Believe only me. Jessica's words calmed me for a while. But very soon the thought of betrayal began to annoy me again. And I decided to test the fidelity of my wife. Stephen, hi. I called my old friend who worked as a private detective. Hello, William. Glad to hear from you, long time no see. Yes, us will need to meet, but now I'm calling you on a personal matter. The request may sound unusual, but I want you to keep an eye on my wife. I suspect she's cheating. What, everything is so bad? Yes, Stephen, there are suspicions, I don't want to guess, so I decided to turn to you. Are you still doing surveillance? Yes, William. I do and I'm ready to help you. Believe me, the requests to me were much more unusual. So I can easily deal with it. Excellent, Stephen, I trust you and I hope that you will help me. Steve called me a week later. William, hello. There is news, but not very good. I sent files to your email. There are photos and videos, set up hidden cameras in the hotel where Jessica was. In general, you will not like it very much. Got you, Stephen, thank you very much. I opened the email from Stephen on my computer and was shocked by what I saw. Jessica told me that she was going to visit her parents for a week. But she clearly wasn't there. In the photo she was with this little bastard. 
Then I turned on the video. Jessica, you did a great job with this job. You are right in the rear, your husband will not notice the beam in his own eye. Carl spoke with admiration. Yes, he no longer solves anything in the bank. I practically own everything, and without me this old. Freak would not have coped. I'm tired of putting up with this bastard. I don't know what to think of so as. Not to be alone with him. Don't worry, baby. You won't get lost with me. We will manage everything in this bank ourselves and will definitely figure out how to make good money on your husband. Now let's do something more interesting. It's not for you to tumble with a pensioner, now I'll show you. With an excited voice, Carl pounced on my wife and began to have her on the couch. I just couldn't move or blink. What I saw shocked me so much that I just froze. Jessica blatantly lied to me, used me and had fun with this young bastard. Pain crept up to his heart, which was beating loudly in his chest. I didn't have enough air. Fucking bitch, thank me properly for the fact that I brought you to the people. So, me need to calm down, most importantly, calm down. I spoke out loud. I tried to breathe deeply to calm my heartbeat. I didn't want to get a heart attack because of this bitch. After a while I came to my senses. But the bitterness of betrayal did not allow me to think clearly. I did not know where to put my thoughts, what to do with all this. But I forced myself to calm down. I had to get revenge on those bastards for what they had done. It was Jessica's birthday soon, so I decided to congratulate the bitch by giving her a parting gift. I organized a splendid feast in a restaurant. All employees and relatives of Jessica were invited here. I got up from the table and tapped the crystal glass with a knife to get everyone's attention. Dear friends. Thank you all for coming to this event. I won't talk much. I have prepared a video for you so that you all know what a wonderful wife I have, after which I will make the main gift, exactly what she deserves. I said and turned on that video from the hotel on the huge TV when Jessica talked and fucked with Carl. Everyone was in shock. There was an awkward silence. Nobody expected this and didn't know what to say. I continued talking. As you can see, my wife is a real bitch who has become insolent to the end and does not put me in anything. William, stop, please. Jessica tried to interrupt me. Don't interrupt the elders, you impudent asshole. So, from now on, you no longer work in this bank. I deprive you of everything. And you will no longer be able to work in any decent bank. You can forget about a rich life, I'll take care of it, and you will see what you are capable of, as you said there, an undeciding husband. It seems to be so. You, impudent bitch, will return exactly to where you started, only now it will be much more difficult for you, I promise you. And you, you little bastard, don't catch my eye anymore, you can forget about your career in this area too. Here is my gift. I shouted, drinking a glass of champagne in one gulp and throwing it at the TV screen, on which the picture of betrayal froze, then turned around and left. So I said goodbye to my unfaithful wife and her bastard lover. Thanks to my connections, I left this bitch without a penny, literally with a bare ass, Carl now also had few prospects in this life. I returned to my work, warning everyone that two-faced creatures would not work in my bank, otherwise the retribution would not be long in coming. Dear listeners, your support is very important to us. If you like our story, please like, comment and subscribe. It's very motivating for us. We need your feedback to improve our content.